Kevin, when you ready? I want to send a shout out to the Islam first. To all the brothers and sisters worldwide, Assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah, wa akbar. Kul huwa la huwa ha 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 First things first, when it comes to this movement, the gangster disciples originated from black gangster disciples. Again, I reiterated in the recent tale, our history and the mystery. So I want to confirm the father, the new generation is concerned, they don't know the foundation that they were actually supposed to be walking on. You know, they renegated with everything, but if they knew the true history of where we come from, then they'll have a more positive outlook on what this movement pertains to. We ain't trying to recruit, we ain't trying to establish nothing within the organization that might cause some type of inconvenience with somebody's freedom and society organizationally. But here's the thing. The gangster disciples derived from the black gangster disciples. And the black gangster disciples derived from Larry Hoover, who was the high supreme gangster. David Bostel, who was the devil's disciple. David Bostel and Larry Hoover used to be adversaries. They used to be out of there. Like Larry Hoover, after they had so many type of vendettas, they come to the conclusion that two, both of them were two outstanding individuals and movement that was they couldn't be moved, they couldn't be moved over. So they united. They united and Larry said, I'm gonna always be a gangster because I was a high screen gangster. David Boss said, I'm gonna always be a devil dis uh, disciple because I was a devil disciple. And so Larry said, Well, I'm, Larry, David Boss said, Well, I'm going to always be a disciple, you can always be a gangster there, so we, we make this a black gangster disciple. That's where the black gangster disciples originated from, I reiterate. Larry Hoover was a high supreme gangster and the leader of it. David Doc Barfield, King David, was a devil disciple. After they had their, after they rectified their differences, they came together, and then Larry Hoover said, I'm going to always be a gangster. David Boss said, I'm going to always be a disciple. That's where the black gangster disciples derived from. Our first law, according to old school laws and policies, not for the sake of I'm not breaking no code because I understand according to the new concept, I was a part of the membership that made the transition from the old to the new. We know spiders are secrets, I ain't got to define of what it means, but our old laws are and it's our old law, so it's not really accurate. So I can make it clear to those who might have some type of curiosity as to where we come from. Our first law, we were black gangster disciples, I solemnly swear never to disrespect any of our king, King David, King Hooper, King Shorty, Don Durkin, or any member of the black gangster disciples nation. That was the first law of the black gangster disciples nation before the concept emerged and, and was issued in 1982. You know what I'm saying? So, so the thing is, is that, uh, so in other words, what I'm trying to say is, that's where the black gangster disciples came from. Larry Hoover and David Boxdale.